you for your uh, invitation and to, uh, we'll be pleased to present our results. Uh, this uh, study was performed in my uh, gynecologic department in Croix Rouge University Hospital in Lyon with the collaboration of Cyril Lafon from the LAPTO and it, wa it was supported by uh, EDAP TMS. So to change this one. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, everybody knows uh, this benign pathology called uh, adenom uh, endometriosis. This, uh, digestive endometriosis is probably one of the most frequent uh, form of, the, of deep infiltrating endometriosis and the most uh, simple, symptomatic form. Uh, about 1% of women of childbearing age are affected uh, by this uh, disease. Uh, after failure of medical treatment, uh, surgery is often proposed to patients. It's a long and difficult surgery, even if it's performed by laparotomy, laparoscopy, or robotic surgery. Uh, we can have uh, uh, postoperative complications, and the most frequent is rectovaginal fistulae. And to prevent this type of complications, 25% uh, of patients will have uh, preventive digestive derivations. We also observe uh, postoperative uh, complications, uh, which can persist all over the life. Uh, we can have dysuria or the short rectal symptom syndrome. In my department, uh, the uh, digestive endometriosis is diagnosed by uh, combining 3D rectal sonography and uh, MRI. The main objective of this uh, study, uh, of this pilot study, was to visualize the endometriotic nodule using the focal one probe, the same probe using, which is used by, for the, for, to treat the prostate cancer. Secondary objectives were to perform a high few thermal lesion on the nodule to assess symptom and quality of life at one month and six months after uh, the treatment, to assess morphological changes of the nodules by imaging at three months, and observe uh, unable adverse effect. All the procedures was, were performed under spinal anesthesia. The median duration of, of the procedure was 55 minutes, uh, duration of treatment between two and six minutes, minor rectal bleedings, Mild, mild anal and abdominal pains and meterism uh, was observed in post-operative. All the patients leave uh, my department the day after the treatment. We included 10, 23 patients, uh, the first series between uh, September uh, 2015 and July 2000, 2017. 11 patients were included with rectal or sigmoid endometriosis. Uh, nine patients were treated. Uh, three failures, it was all uh, uh, lesions located on the sigmoid cone. Six lesions were treated partially. Uh, we estimated to have treated about 50% of the nodules. As you can see on uh, the symptom, we observe at uh, one month a significant improvement of pain with posterior irradiation, asthenia, dysmenorrhea, diarrhea, and, and tenesmus. At six months, we observe, uh, moreover, a significant improvement in constipation and false urge to uh, defecate. According to, uh, to quality of life, uh, at one month, we observe a significant improvement of role physical, vitality, mental health, bodily pain, and general health. At six months, moreover, we observe a significant improvement of role emotional and social functioning, which is really important in these young patients. The second series of patients included 12 patients with only rectal endometriosis between May 2018 and October 2018. 11 patients treated, treated. One failure, the lesion was located in the lower part of the rectum with a huge nodule with, a, with more than 50% of uh, lumen stenosis of the digestive uh, intestine. One lesion uh, was uh, treated partially, but the estimation was we have tr uh, probably treated 90% of the all nodules. Um, uh, according to the symptom, we observe at one month, and it's only on six patients, a significant improvement of pain with posterior ir irradiation, asthenia, dysmenorrhea, false urge to defecate, and uh, dyskesia. According to quality of life, uh, we observe a significant improvement of uh, physical functioning role emotional, vitality, mental health, social functioning, general health, and the global uh, mental composite score. 
No significant morphological changes was observed at three months, but a trend at six months in three uh, patients. Here is uh, an, uh, an, uh, one volume of the lesion before treatment and after six and seven months. As you can see, the volume is, seems to be significantly reduced after uh, the, this treatment, but at six months. In conclusion, uh, we have demonstrated the feasibility of targeting uh, in 100% of the cases of treatment in 87% of the cases. If we want to use the disease probe to treat uh, rectal endometriosis, we need a better selection of patients, mi mild or high rectum, to design a specific probe to treat all the lesions of the rectum or maybe the sigmoid uh, location. We observe also a significant improvement in digestive, gynecological symptoms and also quality of life. We didn't observe a decrease of the volume of the lesion at three months. Maybe it was too early to observe this uh, reduction, or it can be explained also by the incomplete treatment. Uh, we can uh, have a better selection of the patient. To, to, we, had, we had a better selection of the patient with the second seri in the second series of patients, and we can also uh, discuss uh, those escalation in the future uh, study. What is interesting also is to observe that we didn't uh, note uh, enable adverse effect. Uh, it was less frequent than surgery, and we didn't have any rectovaginal fistulae. Like we have seen yesterday, HIFU seems to be able to open the BBB, but HIFU doesn't seem to be able to open the RVS, the rectovaginal septum, which is really important. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. I think this and, is a. I'm sorry. And of course, thank you for all my team uh, and the uh, EDAP TMS, which is uh, always present for the treatment. Thank you. Any questions? Mm -hmm. the, the probe you use for the transrectal, for the prostate, is the same probe, or did you have to modify to no. extend the length? And for the moment, it's the same probe, exactly the same probe. That's why we, it's sometimes difficult, and we cannot go uh, higher as we want uh, to treat a, a sigmoid a lesion located in the sigmoid colon. Thank you. By any chance, in these patients, sometimes endometriosis patients also have fibroids, and sometimes posterior fibroids are hard to treat, no matter, even if you fill the rectum, like a right posterior fibroid can't really be pushed forward by filling the rectum, which is prominently left-sided. So did you ever see a posterior fibroid, and do you think you could possibly treat a posterior fibroid it with could this? Be, it could be a problem, but most of these patients uh, have adenomyosis and not and, uh, fi and fibroids. fibroids. Usually, and they are really young, Thinking. and it's not so big, usually. OK, thank you, thank you.